Hello and welcome. Let's talk about hypertensive disorder in pregnancy. Hypertension is one of the common medical complications of pregnancy and contributes significantly to maternal and perinatal morbidity and mortality. Now, types of hypertensive disorder. Pregnancy-induced hypertension like gestational hypertension, preeclampsia and eclampsia. A chronic hypertension or superimposed preeclampsia or eclampsia. Now, gestational hypertension. When the blood pressure is more than is equal to 140 over 90 mm of Hg for the first time in pregnancy after 20 weeks without proteinuria. Preeclampsia. Gestational hypertension with proteinuria. Eclampsia. Women with preeclampsia complicated with grand mal seizure and or coma. Chronic hypertension. Hypertension before pregnancy or hypertension diagnosed first time before 20 weeks of pregnancy. Superimposed preeclampsia or eclampsia. Occurrence of new onset of proteinuria in a woman with chronic hypertension. Now, preeclampsia. Preeclampsia is a multi-system disorder of unknown etiology characterized by development of hypertension to the extent of 140 over 90 mm of Hg or more with proteinuria after the 20th week in a previously normotensive and non-proteinuric woman. Diagnostic criteria of preeclampsia. Hypertension. An absolute rise of blood pressure of at least 140 over 90 mm of Hg measured two times with at least four hour interval but not more than seven days apart. Proteinuria. Presence of total protein in 24 hours urine of more than 0.3 gram or more or urinary protein over creatinine ratio more than 0.3 or equal to 1 plus protein in at least two random clean cats urine samples. Bedside heat calculation test is positive. Edema. Pitting edema over the ankles. Now risk factors for preeclampsia. Primigravida, young or elderly, family history of hypertension, preeclampsia, placental abnormalities, hyperplacentosis, placental ischemia, obesity, pre-existing vascular disease, new paternity, and thrombophilia. Clinical types, non-severe, were a sustained rise of blood pressure of more than 140 over 90 mm of Hg, but less than 160 mm of Hg systolic or 110 mm mm of Hg diastolic without significant proteinuria is seen. Now, severe, a persistent systolic blood pressure above or equal to 160 mm of Hg or diastolic pressure above 110 mm of Hg, proteinuria, oliguria lesser than 400 ml per 24 hours, platelet count less than 1 lakh per ml cube, health syndrome, cerebral or visual disturbances, persistent severe epigastric pain, retinal hemorrhages, exudates or papilledema, intrauterine growth restriction of the fetus, pulmonary edema, and serum creatinine more than 1.1 mg per deciliter. Now, clinical features, symptoms. There may be mild symptoms like swelling over the ankles, which later progress to face, abdominal wall, vulva, and whole body. Or there may be allowing symptoms like headache, sleep disturbance, diminished uterine output, epigastric pain, eye symptoms like blurring, scotoma, dimness of vision, or sometimes complete loss of vision. Now, signs. There may be edema, whether it's swelling over the ankle or face, abnormal weight gain, increased blood pressure, anemia, per abdominal examination, fundal height less than is of the gestation, and epigastric tenderness. Now, investigation. Urine. 24-hour urinary protein, urine RME, blood, serum uric acid, more than is equal to 4.5 mg per deciliter, serum urea, CBC, serum creatinine, and hepatic enzymes like AST, ALD, ALP, and serum bilirubin, ultrasonography, and ophthalmoscopic examination. Now, management. There may be general management, management control of hypertension, prevention of convulsion, obstetrical management, and treatment of complication. General management. Hospitalization, bed rest, high protein diet. Now, control of hypertension may be done by antihypertensive drugs in case of oral, alpha methyl dopa, nifedipine, labetalol. In case of injectable, Labetalol hydrolysin. Now, prevention of convulsion. The drugs used to prevent convulsion are magnesium sulfate, digipam, and phenobarbital. MgSO4 is the drug of choice, which is given as loading dose, about 10 gram. Now, obstetrical management. If BP is controlled by antihypertensive drug, then continuation of pregnancy up to 37 weeks. Our mode of delivery depends upon the condition of the mother, fetus, and condition of cervix. If favorable, vaginal delivery, but if not unfavorable, but if unfavorable, the induction of liver or cesarean section. If treatment of complications, should be done if they are present. 
preeclampsia when complicated with grand mal seizures, generalized tonic-clonic convulsions, and or comma is called eclampsia. Now types of eclampsia: antepartum, intrapartum, postpartum, and intercurrent or antenatal. Now clinical features: unconsciousness, twitching of muscles of the face, tongue, and limbs, eyeball roll, trunk opposite tonus, limbs are flexed and hands clenched, tongue protrudes, senses appear, biting of the tongue and blood is stained for the secretions. Differential diagnosis Epilepsy, encephalitis, meningitis, pepperial cerebral thrombosis, hypotensive encephalopathy, cerebral malaria in tropics, PREs, and intracranial tumors. Management of eclampsia First of all, general management, control of hypotension, control of convulsion, and obstetrical management. Now, general management Resuscitation, airway, breathing, circulation, disability limitations, and exposure in controlled environment. Left lateral position and prevention from fall and mouth gag if convulsion. Control of hypertension by antihypertensive drugs like injection, hydrolysin, injection, labetalol. Control of convulsion by loading dose of magnesium sulfate, 10 gram MgSO4 is given in which 4 gram is equal to 8 ml mixed with 12 ml distilled water and given intravenous slowly. 6 gram is equal to 3 by 3 gram intramuscular on each buttock. Maintenance dose 3 gram per 4 hourly intramuscular and alternate buttock for 24 hour post delivery from, from last attack. Obstetrical management If not in liver and fish control, in case of TOM, delivery by induction or CS, in pretum, steroid therapy and delivery. And in case of dead fetus, induction of liver and delivery. If not in liver and fetus not controlled or non reassuring fetal status, then delivery should be done by cesarean section. If in liver, CS if any obstetric indication or ARM with or without oxytocin, aided with or without bentos or forceps. Now, causes of maternal death due to cardiac failure, pulmonary edema, aspiration and or septic pneumonia, cerebral hemorrhage. Acutrenal failure, cardiopulmonary arrest, acute distress syndrome, pulmonary embolism, postpartum shock, and pupillary sepsis. End of the topic.